Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So as I said, I played off camera for a little bit. There was the group of brigands that I wanted to take out to get some more loot. So I did that and I sold everything that we had in Wolfsburg. And I think I also bought some food and tools and supplies. So that's one thing. Uh, another thing that's quite important, the noble war just started. Basically, as I entered the city, I got the pop-up that the war started. And that means uh, we'll probably change our plans a little bit. There is still a lot that we can gain from the noble war, especially some 300-300 uh, plus point chest armors from knights. So we'll be heading south, and um, I'm hoping that... Uh, these guys will fight each other. It's significantly less likely that anybody uh, would be fighting this house because there's like no connection and once they take out Fakovat, which is probably gonna happen then um, it, it's if they can fight it's awkward going across the map for quests for example so I'd uh, like to try here as these cities are much closer to each other to like fight for these guys and maybe take out uh how are they called how is this house called the house gotha uh i think we will try to get the, the alliance with the uh, house battle in this way let's see how it's gonna work and then of course we want to visit these cities a couple of times, try to get uh, some more uniques. And speaking about uniques, I checked the tavern and they told me about something shiny owned by goblins in the west. So I guess it's this camp where we should find a unique item. So that's where we're heading now and from there we'll be heading south and uh, join the war. Okay, uh, one more thing uh, about the suggestions, uh, who should uh, get this armor if there are better options. They're probably in the end, uh, or I'll, in the end I'll give it to maybe someone else. But uh, for now I want to, I want to give the uh, heavy armies that we have available on people who are on the flanks. In the center, uh, when we have especially spearmen in the center with the spear wall active, uh, the enemies tend to split up and uh, go for our flanks and therefore I want to have our flanks fortified as much as possible. So I'm giving the best armor to people who are sitting on the sides. Uh, in the end, I'm actually not sure who will uh, he'll end up with this armor, we'll see about that. But it's definitely not gonna be Havran, was a suggestion that maybe it would be best for someone with very, very high hit points. But Havran is uh, nimble, so he doesn't want to have heavy armor. And also, I'll have to finally remember, and when we find a lighter helmet, I'll give him that. I was thinking about buying one, but it would be a waste of money. Uh, like a proper helmet that I would like to give him is 500 gold. And uh, well, that's just a wasted money because we should find such a helmet in the next uh, fight with uh, brigands. Okay, so that's that. And I think we can head... Let's see. Let's actually do a little bit exploring uh, along the way as well. Uh, what is this? While browsing the town's market, the man in salt approaches. He's wearing a grin uh, with more glitter than chum, and each of his fingers are adorned to glint. Ah, so sorry. I see you have some interesting trophies with you. How about I take that shimmering ashes for a thousand crowns? Well, one or all? I mean, I will sell one for a thousand. I won't sell all for a thousand. Or is it he'll take all thousand crowns each which would be a pretty good deal well let's see what happens and we have a new ambition we can win this war for one noble houses our name will be unmatched let us pick a side yep i think that's what we're gonna do uh i've never seen this one the company lacks competent arches yeah that's surprising uh limiting our tactical options we shall train three men to master bow or crossbow and be deadly from afar. Well, we are already working on this. I think we need one more level. We'll get the bowmaster, so I'll just grab this one. This should be fast, and then we grab the uh, the the noble war. And what is this? There are rumors about colossal beast that lurks in the swamps. If you find and slay it, eternal flame will be a reward. Uh, this is a nice one. I'm not sure which one this is, but. Uh, uh, I think this will have to wait for like beasts, the kind of like um, 
how they call it, those green thingies. Uh, of course, I don't remember the name, but uh, things that we can't like disarm or stun want better weapons for that problem because we don't have any unique two handers. So, oh well, very few unique two handers. So let's just wait with these like the problem most difficult fights for later. Uh, okay, let's start with this. That should be done very quickly. And I wanted to climb this mountain in case there is something interesting around there is not the next one will be here probably just looking just in case it's not the the camp they're talking about i want to make sure that i don't miss it ah what is this very circus sure we can do that on the way Eleven percent. That's a waste of ammo. I'll just end everyone's turn. Maybe not. I can disarm this guy. Maybe I need him for some bleeds. Actually, Melis needs some more time for repairs. Problem is, if I want to have 16 people in the front line, I have to keep Melis where he is. That's good. Can we hit him again? No. So it was a waste of ammo, but I actually managed to hit him, so... It wasn't a waste of ammo after all. How did he survive? Okay, good. And this was also pretty surprising. I definitely didn't expect so much damage. Okay, let's see if we can kill this one. Nope. At least not yet. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Should have moved probably a little bit. Let's move Banana Font here, I think. Wait, wait. Okay, so this is the next priority target. Oh, come on. This guy might actually attack once, and I won't be able to do anything about it. Not this turn, but next turn. Wait, wait. I could move forward and attack. Or could I? Uh... Oops. Mm, 
they will attack and I can't do anything about it. Let's get some overwhelm stacks. I could risk it here. Okay, that's quite important, but this one will still attack. Hopefully it doesn't hit. Of course he did. So we didn't have enough injured people. we get at least something from this one because otherwise this would be such a bad result what's the injury by the way uh, this is actually not the end of the world for someone who will just stay in one tile and defend so we can still leave Johan in the front line and Roderick at a level up, which is probably the one that we need for the uh, for the ambition, and we didn't get anything. We even lost most of their weapons. Okay, Roderick, time for bow mastery. That should be the third one. One, two, three. Yep, and holy moly, plus five. I didn't know that uh, there can be plus five range skill with three stars. Okay. Uh, what's the last one here? Initiative. So, how do we rename Roderick? I still have some names on the list, so I'll check in between episodes. First of all, I have to find the list. And maybe we can move John back now when Kane can return to the front line. I Definitely want to have a second web, so this looks good. Switch. It would be great if you find, finally found that unique one hand there and uh, decided on the specialization for Kamiyamatsu. But, well, we are very unlucky with unique weapons this time. The previous series, we had uh, unique weapons dropping every other fight. And now it's just helmets everywhere. Okay, good. Everyone is happy again. Nice one. Oh. It has to be this camp. Let's actually go here. Just in case it's something new that spawned. Now. It was a goblin camp to the west, and there is nothing else to the west than this one. I think we want to attack them during the night. No, we won't make it. What do they have? Shamans, skirmishes, ambushers. That should be fine. I think the last time we checked the garrison, there was also an overseer, so it's now easier. And yeah, let's go in. Okay, fingers crossed that this is the camp that we are looking for. Uh, two, four, six. This should be quite easy, I think. If we can hit anything, of course. There's some high ground on their side. So. Probably take quite a lot of damage. I'll try to rush them a little bit, I think. They have daggers. There's one, I think. Two daggers. Only two, so it's not that bad. Yeah, that's one. And the, this is the other one. This actually might have been the third one. So there are some goblins hidden in the grass. 
I'm not sure if this one was well, just like ran from the grass or if it was one that we have seen before. Hmm. So again, I have no idea how many diggers we are up against. Uh, Andre, let's help some friends. Wait. Uh, did I fail? I thought that I freed Ankorus. Oh, damn it. So, let's try again. Now we're gonna use Adrenaline. Move forward. I want to finish this one off before he, before he can attack again. Ow. That's Malice, right? So Malice should be able to move out before he can get hit again. one oh, come on okay let's move malice out nice one that's one dagger out and I think this one had the dagger as well okay. Pretty effective for control. Havron. Havron is fine. Just when they get through the armor, there is still 140 hit points they have to get through. And I think next time we start unleashing dogs. Let's start here already. Don't kill him. What about aim shot? 37. Let's try 37. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. How is it possible that Viking doesn't have a dog? Because he has that necklace, right? What if I just use adrenaline and try to stun this one before he can do anything? There we go. Shaman is doing a pretty good job. Let's, uh, let's actually free some allies. Maybe try to disarm this guy. to them here. One, two, three. Let's stop this one. Good. The last one panicked as well. Actually, wait. He didn't. This is the last that didn't panic and now he's gone. Okay, so we lost what? We lost one dog. No one got injured. It took some damage, but uh, it should be easy to heal and repair. Possible that we lose this dog.
Okay, and hopefully this guy dies as he flies through on the way. Good. But still, two dogs, that's like minus 500 gold or something like that. And wait, Chao Yun got injured. Hmm. That was a pretty costly fight, so I hope we do find it unique. Uh, two silver balls, it's nice. Some ammo, tools, and supplies. There we go. 266. Yeah, we probably use plus 40 armor attachment. That will be 306 for 26 hit points, which is uh, 26 uh, fatigue, I mean, which is like 14 fatigue lighter than normal 300 point armor. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. And I almost left without taking the loot. So do we have the attachment? We have this one. I wanted to put it on something. I think on this one. And we don't have a normal plus 40 point attachment. Hmm. Okay, so who gets this one? I think this will be finally for Kamiomutsu. Minus 24. Look at the difference. Minus 24 for 200 points. Minus 22 for 266. Damn, this thing is good. How does it look like with our injured brothers? <laughs> Still could be quite a long time before. We, oh, this is definitely going to take a long time. Well, I was thinking maybe we could try the skeletons, but I'm not sure we are in shape to do that. We are missing Jekyll and Johan, most importantly. And, uh, so we could use some time to repair the gear. Uh, let's just uh, go south. We want to join the war probably as soon as possible. I think last time it took us so long to join the war that we did one contract and the war ended. So this time I'd like to join a little bit earlier. I would still like to find at least something on the way south. You walk into that terrible curse, curse upon man. Now it's burned some of their lives to the ground. Now I want to win the war. And the war between the yeah.
much money do we have? How much food and tools and supplies? I hope we'll be able to buy some tools and supplies in the south. Um, few hex and few unholds. Many dire wolves. Hexen are a bad fight for us, like really bad. Even though it's just the few, I think I'll still pass. Wow, that was close. I have no idea why the game decided to go uh, that way. Hopefully, we are fine now. But this is such a waste of time. I thought we would find at least two or three locations on the way. And there is nothing at all, not even brigands. Do... Uh, go. Let's make it to the city as fast as possible. We have 13,500, so I wouldn't be surprised if all the shops were now just stuffed with uh, expensive uniques. That's how it usually works. Well, let's see. Oh, nothing here. And uh, nothing here either. Uh, what about armor attachments? Nothing. So what do we sell? 375. That's a pretty good price. Do we have any more valuables? We do. It's an amazing price to be honest. We sell all of this. And actually I do have the helmet that I wanted to give to uh, Havran. I thought I sold it accidentally, but no, I kept it. Good. We of course want to find something unique, a light unique helmet would be great, but uh, usually I find those very early. And uh, then when I find them later as well, I'm just complaining, that's not what I wanted. But this time I'd like to see like two, maybe even three uh, more unique light armors and some light helmets would be great as well. I think we're gonna sell one of the 200 axes. Uh, the unique one is actually pretty good, even though it has lower damage. The extra armor penetration is pretty good, I have to say. And we'll get rid of this helmet now. I might as well use these attachments for now. I'll just replace them with something better. Like this looks horrible. Do we have an attachment here? Yeah, we do. Oh, whatever. Okay. Now, fingers crossed that we find something on the marketplace. We need food, we need tools and supplies. Let's sell all the meat and the beer that's about to spoil. It's interesting that no one even touched the beer. I mean, what the hell is this company? There is free booze and no one even touches it. It's expensive, but I'll buy a little bit of everything. Maybe not the uh, rations. Let's buy the bread. One, two, three, all the tools and supplies. Okay, so we check both shops, we check the marketplace, let's check the tavern. There's things out there way more scary than some group of brigands. You'll see what I mean soon enough. If you head out beyond the borderlands, been there, seen it, 
not that scary. Uh, contracts. Travel to the lands of House Falsa. Raid and burn down places. Destroy the currents of patrols. Return after five days. Yeah, I don't want this one. Because House Falsa is the one in the north. And uh, it will just take longer to get there than we have basically to complete the contract. So we'll pass on that one. Just one contract against these guys. How does it look like they're injured? There we go. For now, we don't have to make any changes, I think. Come on, better contract or not. So just because I'm curious, I'm going to check if there is anything interesting. Oh, hello. That's what we want. We also want these helmets for our archers, but I'm not paying 1600 for a non, uh, not, or for an item that's not necessary, it's not unique. I just want to find them because it's a little bit better than what we are using. That uh, was weapons, that was armor. Now, anything here? Nope. Recruits. We could try the brawler. But do we need... Actually, we do need one more guy. I want to get the... Um, a duelist. It's still something we're missing. And we want to buy a dog. So, are you good? No. Swift. Optimist. Nice perks. 55 is a starting uh, value is also decent, but for duelist I want to have like really exceptional stats. Definitely need at least two stars in fatigue, two stars melee skill, and then, well, ideal be melee defense of course, but I'd probably accept stars in initiative. But this is not good enough, so let's get rid of this guy. This would be, I think, decent recruit early. Now, this is something for Havran. We all just need an attachment to this, but when we compare it, it is, it's the same uh, armor, basically, and it's four point lighter. Now we are at, what, 17? And the maximum we are allowed to wear is 15. We are almost there. Can we get a lighter helmet? This one is 8. How much money do we have? 9.5. I'm actually thinking about buying... No, we want to buy tools and supplies now. We all just find a better helmet. Can we give that armor to our archers? And who lost the dog? I think it was Malice, right? Oh, tools and supplies. So we need one, two, three, four stacks. We can buy cheese, we can buy the meat, we can buy all the food. And now we need work. Let's actually go this way, just in case there is a new brigand camp. the hell? Where are all the brigands? I guess recruited for the noble war. 
Hmm. Well, it's work. It's not uh, for noble houses, but I'll take it. And what the hell is this? I've never seen this one drawn. An expected heat wave where many of the local crops. There is less food available and prices are higher. Well, we have enough for now. Let's check recruits. I mean, sure. If we get the really lucky farm hands, can be good enough. They would have to get like exceptional rolls, but it can happen. This is not an exceptional roll, and I like that they are starting with really high fatigue. Oh. This is not that good. He has a decent starting melee skill. And this guy sucks as well. Okay, work. Follow the tracks, return demonic statuette. Yep, that's a good one. Uh, west, let's go west. I'm not too happy about the Master Arch, that thing can be super dangerous, but at least they have a leader. And I mean, there is a small chance that the Master Arch has a unique bow, I think. And everyone actually recovered, hmm. Wait, where's Havron's shield? Did he lose it somewhere? like to have Xiaoyun in the front line as well or front line like on the bed on the field maybe like this this is even better go they may even have a necromancer <laughs> sure they do Yeah, I think when it's a three-star contract, find something, bring it back. It's uh, guaranteed necromancy. It doesn't have a unique bow. That sucks. Okay, wait. This could hurt. Actually, it probably would be worse if uh, he had a crossbow. That's the leader. He has a tier one sword, but that's it. Fine. 
Let's try to stun this guy. Perfect. Come on, 64, you can do it. Ah. Let's try again. 84. Good. What's the next best shot that we have? Probably here is the only unblocked shot that we have. I can reach him without aim shot. Great, let's see. Good. Now it's time to have some fun. 95, let's go. Is there anything worth disarming? Probably this guy still, just in case we can't kill him. Wait. That hurt. We can get a kill with that cleave. No. <laughs> we barely hit anything. That was disappointing. Okay, much better. Closer, I think we can. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, anything worth disarming? Might actually be the zombie. Because if the Mechanomancer buffs it up again, also, that was quite a lot of damage. Sure enough. And I hope the dog doesn't run back north. Try to cleave again. Can we at least try to hit one of them? I thought that I will have to go after the Master Archer, I didn't think I'd be in range, but I'll definitely take the kill. Let's see, 47, oh, I'll try it, nice one. 20, let's go for the aim shot. I have a feeling I'm gonna hit the dog. Why did I do that? I wanted to attack the zombie first and then the necromancer. Uh -huh. turn. Should be one more. How do you survive? Sometimes it's really surprising how tough the master arches can be. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay, that was a fun fight. What did we get? We got the sword. We didn't even get the bow. I'd probably keep the bow because we still want more arches. Of course, we didn't get it. And overall, we didn't get that much from the fight. Hmm. 
But uh, it didn't take too long, like half day, to get, what was it, 1800 gold reward, plus a little bit of gold on top of that when we sell everything. Is this and how much are you paying? Find ruins, store much keep <clears throat> a long way to the northeast. Nope, where do we go from here? I think if I go north, just more likely that I'll get the contract to attack these guys. We don't want that, we want to get as close as possible to this house. How does it look like with everyone's morale? Ah, it's fine. Do I want to fight the Masseris? I mean, it's free experience. I think I'll pass. I'm really curious if we can get a decent contract in Kraken Vader. Nope. Where are the contracts here? Defend Kraken rather from reading, but we can take this one, it's a pretty good one actually. And the other one, Wasakog. I don't want to go to Wasakog. But we can definitely accept this one. Okay, pause. So that's what we're gonna do next time. Then we go to stall. I hope that we get a contract there. I really want to start fighting these guys. This should be that when the, uh, like this global event starts that uh, you get contracts in all cities. That you have some more options. Because if it's like one contract for this house if in Glansfeste, it's all, go all the way north. Uh, that really sucks. I mean, we can still try these two cities. If there is nothing in the stall, but I was hoping we'll be able to be a lot more active in this war. But well, you'll see next time. Uh, for today, we are done. So I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.